friction and smoothness of a surface. In this module you will learn about the effect of smoothness of a surface on friction. We require a few items for this activity. They are a wooden board, three bricks, a torch cell, a wrinkle-free piece of cloth and sand. First, make an inclined plane by supporting one end of the wooden board with the bricks. The inclined plane should be at one end of the table. This is done so that if something is rolled down the plane, there is enough distance for it to move on the table. Next, place the torch cell at the top of the wooden board and let it roll down the plane. Observe how far it goes on the table before coming to rest. Make a mark on the table where the cell stops. Now, spread the piece of cloth over the table. There should not be any wrinkles on the cloth. Let the cell roll down the board from the same point. Observe the distance it covers over the cloth. It is much less. Now, remove the cloth and spread sand over the table. How far will the cell go? Let us check. This time the cell covers the shortest distance. The distance covered by the cell depends on the nature of the surface. On the table surface, the cell covered the longest distance because the table surface is smooth and offers the least resistance. On cloth and sand, the cell covered shorter distances because these surfaces are rough and offer more resistance. Through this activity, it can be inferred that rough surfaces offer more friction than smooth surfaces. In this module, you have learnt Friction is caused by the roughness of the surface in contact. Rough surfaces offer more friction than smooth surfaces.